Question 6, part A. Translate shape A by the vector minus 3, 2. So the minus 3 tells us we move to the left. So we're going to so take the bottom. We're going to go 1, 2, 3 to the left. And the 2 tells us to go up. So we'll go 1, 2, up. So our bottom left corner is going to come across 3 and up 2. So I'll mark that point in. And then we simply need to draw the shape. So the shape has a base of 2. So we'll draw a point in there. And then we come across 1 and up 3 to get to the top right corner. Across 1, up 3. And then 2 across and draw the shape in. So your shape will look something like this. Hopefully you do with the ruler and it'll look a bit tidier than mine. Let's just tidy it up a little bit. And that is the translation of shape A by the vector minus 3, 2. Question 6, part B. Describe fully the single transformation that maps shape B onto shape R. So shape Q onto shape R. So we're going rotating and we're going anti-clockwise. Also, if we look, something that was pointing this way is now pointing something like that way. So if we bring them across, and we can see the, uh, almost see that it's a right angle. Um, it's a bit fiddly moving this around, but hopefully you can see it's a right angle. So what was going east is now going north. So that's a 90 degree angle. So it's a 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation. Now we have to find the centre. What I'd normally suggest is you always try naught naught because they use that a lot, but check with tracing paper. So I'm going to put my naught naught in. And if I checked with tracing paper, I can't really show you that the way I'm doing it. What I can show you though, so if I connect it to the bottom right, and then if I go up and I rotate that, you can see that's a rotation of 90 degrees anti clockwise. So it is in fact centre 0, 0. As I say, if you took tracing paper, traced your tracing paper around the shape, and then rotated 90 degrees about this centre, you'll see that Q lands right on top of R, confirming that it's a 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation, centre 0, 0. So you're going to get one mark for 90 degrees, one mark for anti-clockwise, and one mark for centre 0, 0.